welcome back to another video on 10 and today we're going to do my championship game week 16 predictions the midweek games and yes there are some absolute corkers as as there are there's are some absolute corkers in this week um Cobb just getting back to a win um some very interesting results from last week uh today oh uh yesterday and today Birmingham did just beat whole 2-0 just a few moments ago, the game ended about an hour ago. So, um, yeah, so that's the last game of this week. Going into game week 16, a very interesting game week. Uh, some big games, some interesting games. And, uh, yeah, should we start off with the first game, which is Blackburn Rovers versus Sunderland? Um, uh, Sunderland just coming back. All right, Sunderland just coming back off a... Uh, two one win over Wigan and Blackburn getting off a two one win over Middlesbrough. They are carrying on the trend, Blackburn, with a win loss win loss win loss, and it goes on. As you can see there, win loss win loss win loss win. So technically, that means they will lose today. Uh, no, lose tomorrow and uh, Tuesday. Um, this is a fascinating game because Blackburn, you know, currently sit. About uh, Blackburn sit fifth, Sunderland sit all the way on oh, all the way in ninth. Sunderland sit in ninth, Blackburn sit in fifth. Four points separate these two sides. Blackburn, a uh, Blackburn at home haven't been awful. Um, five out of their seven games at home, they've won. Three away wins, five home wins, three away wins. That's not a bad record. Um, and uh, look at Sunderland's away form. Three wins a season out of seven games, not bad. Blackburn are still not the uh, they're, they're, they're the only team who haven't drawn the season. Wow. They have not drawn the season at all. For me, it's hard to say this. They will, the trend will continue. Blackburn will lose and then they'll win on the weekend. So, yeah, uh, Blackburn for me lose 2 1 to her son and just purely based on, you know, the form, uh, you know, just uh, the pattern. Um, eight wins, seven losses a season. So consistent. Um, not really, but they're not, they're, they win, they lose, they win, they lose, they win, they lose. They're going to be going into that battle. So, uh, if that actually happens, that means 70, uh, 23 wins a season. So it's going to be interesting. Moving on to Huddersfield Town versus Preston North End. Huddersfield sit in 23rd. Don't, not looking great. Preston in 14th. Mid-table. Um, looking all right. Uh, Preston just coming back off a 2-0 a loss to Stoke. And Huddersfield a 2-1 loss to Rotherham away. So Stoke, uh, Preston were at home. Huddersfield were away. For me, Huddersfield have to win this game. Just purely based on their 23rd. Come with two games in hand on them. Um, and uh, Huddersfield have to play Cobb. That's their game in hand. So that's going to be tough. Away at Cobb's gonna, always going to be a tough game. Um, you know, Huddersfield at, at home. Um, they've had three wins. Three of them have come in at home. That's coming from home. Uh, Preston have three away wins and one home win. So Preston are better away and Huddersfield are better at home. For me, a draws win all over it. 1-1. One, one. And that probably, that would be, that'd be good for Cobb, to be fair. Cobb could over leapfrog Huddersfield with two games in hand. So, yeah. Moving on to Norwich City versus Luton Town. Luton Town coming off a 3-1 win over QPR. Huge, huge win. And Norwich losing over Watford 2-1. And Luton sitting in seventh, one point off the playoffs, with Norwich in third, slipping out of the automatics with Burnley beating Swansea 4-0, which puts Burnley top. So Norwich uh, slipped down to third on 24 points. They are one point off top, but that's not looking good for Norwich. They have to get a win here over uh, Luton Town. For me, I think Norwich will get the win. Um you know, Luton look good and all, but not just look a little bit better. They look a better team, uh, you know, squad wise, they're looking better. Um, they're just overall a better side, Luton, uh, Swans, um, Norwich. I think they'll win 2 1. 
in order to get a huge, huge win. And that could put them really, really up there in the table. That means they would be on 27 points and they'll put the pressure on Burnley and um, Sheffield United. Moving on to Swansea City versus Reading. Swansea sitting eighth. Reading sitting sixth, but Reading have really dropped off, and that's to be expected. They are winless in three. Um, they've lost two on the bounce to QPR and to West Brom. Um, Reading are just slipping off a little bit, and that was, of course, to be expected. Two no loss over West Brom at, uh, at home as well, so they lost at home. Um, Swansea getting pummeled away at Burnley. Um, it's not a bad result, I don't think. You know, it's, it is is what it is Burnley. So, you know, it's to be expected. I, I don't see Swansea looking bad. Um, Swansea aren't looking bad at all, that's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, they had a loss, but before that, it was four wins on the trot for Swansea. Um, at home, how well are they looking at home? Uh, three wins at home, three away. So, we're doing uh, five wins at home. Two wins away, so not great away from home. Reading, uh, you know, of course, winless in three. Um, I think Swansea wrap up all three points here. There, I think it's one point separate the um, one point separate these two sides. Um, six, no, yeah, it still is still one point. It's six three eight, and um, and yeah, Swansea don't look bad. They don't look bad. Yeah, four 0 away at Burnley is you know it's gonna be tough, but. Burnley. Gotta respect it. Moving on to Stoke City versus Rotherham. Uh, Stoke City just beating Preston 2 0. Rotherham just beating um Huddersfield 2 1. Stoke for me, two wins on a two wins in a row here, two wins on the bounce. Preston away and Sheffield United. And I think that was at home. Was that at home? Uh let's see. Yeah, it was at home, but Honestly, Stoke look good. Stoke actually look good. 2-0, 3-1. They're, they're both t- t- difficult teams, I guess. Um, Sheffield United and Preston. For me, Stoke at home. How are they doing at home? Uh, two wins at home, three away. Rotherham, um, zero wins away. Uh, no away wins this season for Rotherham. For me, this is going to be a scrappy one all draw. It'll be close. It'll be a tight game. I just... I just don't see these two sides, you know, getting a win. It's 13 3 16 one point separating these two sides. It's just the uh, bone rings. Uh, moving on to West Brom versus Bristol City. Bristol City's form recently has been pretty, pretty shocking. Five losses in the last seven, one win and one draw. For West Brom, it's just a bit scrappy, you know, two draws. Uh, three draws, three losses, and a win. They did just get a win away at Reading, which you know is a good win. It's a good win, but they have to keep going. Uh, they can't stop there. Um, they have to keep going. Um, West Brom two 0 away win at Reading is a good result. Can they back it up with a pro- Bristol's against Bristol City side at home who just lost to Millwall at home? So for me, game's gonna be scruffy. For me, I think West Brom and I think they draw. I just don't see these two sides, you know, they're bashing it out, but I just don't see these two sides winning. So, uh, yeah, moving on to Birmingham City versus Burnley. Birmingham just beat Hull 2-0 and Burnley beat Swansea 4-0. A huge, huge win. They are unbeaten in seven. Uh, they've lost one all season. Uh, three wins, three three home wins, three away wins, uh, six wins, seven draws, and one loss. So they've lost one all season. Um, Birmingham, two home wins, three away wins, one just happened today. Five wins, four draws, five losses. So pretty even in that sense. Um, Birmingham look good. They do look like a strong side, um, very fierce. A good win over Mill, a hull today. That puts them in a very nice position in 12th mid-table, exactly. For me, though, Burnley get a strong 2-0 win here. I just don't see Burnley dropping points. And, um, and yeah, moving on to Blackpool versus Hull. Black Hull are in the mud. 21st, one point off safety 
it's looking really, really rough for Hull. Um, just come back off a 2 0 loss to Birmingham, having had six losses in the last seven. Um, you know, this is awful for Hull, awful. Four wins all season, all at home. Um, we've had no away wins, we've had eight losses this season, eight losses this season. It's pretty shocking. Uh, four wins and two draws. And uh, Blackpool, though, Blackpool don't look great themselves. Two points off Hull, 19th. Uh, two home wins, two away wins, four wins, four draws and six losses. It is just come off a thrilling 3-3 draw over Sheffield United. For me, I just based on... I'm going to go 2-1 Blackpool. I think Blackpool get all three points here. I'd, they're at home to a really woeful Hull. And Hull haven't won it at oh, no. Hull haven't won away this season. Shocking. Moving on to my team, the Mighty Sky Blues up against the crumbling Sheffield United. Um unbeaten, no, winless in four. Um it's just pointless points here, isn't it? You know, a one one draw of a Birmingham. Two losses in a row over QPR and Stoke, and then a three-three draw over um, Blackpool. It's just it's looking poor. Sheffield United are looking poor. We just came back off a huge, huge one-nil away win, a way win over Cardiff City. That's two wins for the season. Uh, one home, one away. A huge win over Cardiff City. An absolute huge. My review for that came out earlier today. An absolute critical three points. A huge three points. That puts us, we have one win, one lot, one win, one home win, one away win, two draws, two wins, uh, four draws and five losses. Yeah, you know, we're still bot bottom, but that puts us four points off safety with three games in hand. That's huge. We win those three games, we go nine, on 19 points. We go about mid-table. Um, and we get 19 points. 19 points. We're literally only three points off playoffs. Um, simple as that. We've actually gained on playoffs. We're looking good now. You put us on 19th, 12th, around 12th, and that really puts other teams in the mud. We have to keep winning, though. Sheffield United at home, I think we can win. I'm not saying that because of Coventry City and, you know, I'm a Cub fan. I'm saying that because we can win it. I just don't see the Sheffield United. The Sheffield United side don't look good at all. Four win. Four, they're winless in four. You know, they've dropped from comfortably first to really, really close into going out of the playoffs. Simple as that. You lose against Cobb. Teams like Reading, Luton, Swansea are just surrounding you. Norwich could win. QPR could win. Every team surrounding you. Me, Cobb, we win this game. And that's not me saying I got I got Cov Cardiff correct and predicted one 0 away win. We're we're looking good, you know we were unbeaten in four games. And then we lost to Burnley to be expected, and then we come back or back with another win over Cardiff. We're looking good. I did not see I didn't watch final score at all because I was asleep because I had an all night on Friday and I was absolutely shattered. So I literally woke up to us winning which was a very nice feeling, even though I was tired. It was a very nice feeling. And we win this game over Sheffield United. Moving on to Millwall up against Watford. Um, it's 11th to 10th, both on 20 points. Three goal difference separate these two sides. Um, Nor Watford's coming off a 2-1 a win over Norwich City. And Millwall coming off a little bit of run here, unbeaten in three games. Um, I don't I don't know about Watford, how many away wins they got in the season. One away win, four home wins, so very comfortable at home. Wow, five home wins this season for Millwall. They've only lost two games at home uh, or draws. Um, they haven't won two games at home. Like they've they won five out of seven at home. Brilliant home form. The den is really the fortress. Um, for me, Watford. I don't know about this. I'm going to go for Desmond 2-2. I think it'll be a 2-2 draw and yeah. Moving on to QPR versus Cardiff. Cardiff just coming back off. What was that? A 1-0 loss to Coventry City. 
and QPR coming off a 3-1 loss to Luton or something. But before that, they were unbeaten in five. So QPR definitely looking good in fourth place right now. Cardiff in 18th. Cardiff are in the mud. Simple as that. Cardiff are not looking good. Um, You know, 18 points and looking a bit... They're not looking great. I think QPR can get three points here. Uh, 2-0 QPR. Uh, not 2-2. 2-0 QPR. Strong, strong result. Strong performance. And uh, QPR get all three points. Moving on to the last game of the week. And that is Wigan Athletic versus Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough stay in the relegation zone. Just losing 2-1 over Blackburn. Wigan losing 2-1 over Sunderland. For me, Wigan at home. Wigan, a bit of a hit and miss, aren't they, this season? Um, 15, how many? Win 1-5. Lost five and drawn four. Um, one way, one home win, four away. I've never really seen teams you know better away than home. Middlesbrough, three home wins, no away wins. They are winless at winless away. For me, Wigan just get a cheeky one nil win. It'd be a very scruffy game, but I think they'll win it. So yeah, that does wrap up my predictions. I've gone for Blackburn 1, Sunderland 2, Huddersfield 1, Preston 1, Norwich 2, Luton Town 1, Swansea 2, Reading 1, Stoke City 1, Rotherham 1, West Brom 1, Bristol City 1, Birmingham City 0, Burnley 2, Blackpool 2, Hull 1, Coventry City 2, Sheffield United 1, Millwall 2, Watford 2, QPR 2, Cardiff City 0, and Wigan Athletic 1, Millsborough 0. So, yes, that is it. That is my predictions done. Let's move it on to the League Simulator. Going into Game Week 15. Um, what did I do for Game Week 14? Did I do Game Week 14? I'm on Game Week 16, aren't we? So, there's going to be two. Two games because I didn't do my um, predictions because I, I don't know why I didn't do it. But, yeah, um... We'll have two now. So Watford stay top. Blackburn, Watford's three-point gap there. This is looking interesting. We're at 18th we sit. We're looking good now. Um, still in, in the pain. Well, who do we play? We play Wigan, who are... Where are Wigan? Where are Wigan? Four for 13th. So respectable for Wigan. Um, so should we get off with it? Game 15, there we go. Stoke City nil, Bristol City 2, Huddersfield 2, Sunderland 0, Luton Town 1, Blackpool 4, Cardiff 1, Blackburn 1, uh, Watford 1, uh, Birmingham 0, Wigan 3, Coventry City 1, Burnley 2, Reading 0, um, Hull City 1, Middlesbrough 3, Millwall 1, Sheffield United 2, Norwich 2, West Brom 0, QPR 0, Preston 3. And Swansea City, I don't actually know. I didn't see the what, what was what was the press what was Swansea. I went, I went a bit too quickly. Um, Swansea City three, Rotherham one. All right. Um. So yeah, where are we? That's amazing. That's what I'm looking at. Oh, we're twentieth. Oh, that's not looking great. We're one point off safety. I right, so we will oh, just absolutely bar, just poor at the moment. West Brom and Birmingham all in. The relegation zone. Huddersfield, Cov, Hull, Swansea, Millsboro, Luton, Stoke, Sunderland, Cardiff, Rotherham, Wigan, QPR, Blackpool, Reading, Norwich in the playoffs, Sheffield United, Burnley, Blackburn, Bristol, Automatic, Preston, and Norwich. We've got Millsboro. Where Millsboro? 17th. Oh, God. We could get better there. All right. There we go. Entire week. Oh, God. We're terrible. Reading 1, Stoke 0. Coventry City nil, Middlesbrough one, um, Birmingham one, Sheffield United one, Blackburn two, West Brom two, Blackpool nil, Preston two, Sunderland one, Rotherham nil, Bristol City two, Swansea City nil, Huddersfield two, QPR nil, Luton nil, Norwich two, Cardiff two, Millwall two, Watford one, Hull one, a uh, Hull nil, and Wigan two, Burnley nil. Oh my, oh. I hate seeing that. So, oh, Millwall actually got a point. I didn't really see that. Millwall, West Brom, Birmingham still stay in the relegation zone. Cov on goal difference are, are 21st. 
Um, we're going to go Hull, Swansea, Huddersfield, Luton, Stoke, Middlesbrough, Cardiff, Rotherham, Sunderland, QPR, Blackpool, Wigan, Burnley, Reading, Playoffs, Sheffield United, Norwich, Blackburn, Bristol, Automatic, Preston and Watford. So yeah, that does wrap up the League Simulator and that does wrap up the video. We have Norwich, who are in fifth, Whippy, Birmingham, Millwall, who are, oh my God, we're going to be in the relegation zone. This is embarrassing. All right, so that does wrap up the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.